Hello guys, thanks for watching. So I know I did a kind of like a quick review on my boggle bag. Um, oh, when was that? I did a re video response to um, uh, the peaceful prepper. Um, I didn't really touch much on the content of what's inside, so I'm gonna do uh, two parts. Uh, this is gonna be my far starting kit. And then the next one's going to be my um, hygiene kit. <clears throat> so, uh, as you guys know, um, this is the Exotact uh, Poly Striker XL. Um, this is the Ferrocium Rod. Uh, it is the extra large. Uh, I have two of these. One is currently on my keychain. Um, and then this one is going to go in here. Um, I also have another uh, ferro rod that is built into the uh, it's built into the uh, uh, more like my fire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut this open. thing that I like about this um, and I'll show you guys here in a second so this trash but here you guys can see I'll show you guys again uh, burns hot over 5,000 or over 5,500 Fahrenheit uh, ultralight only weighs 1.4 ounces waterproof uh, long-lasting up to 10,000 strikes um, so here it is. I like the little lanyard, uh, but because you know I didn't want to have this hanging from my keychain, I went ahead and threw the uh, this away. Uh, I'm gonna keep it on this one. Um, and the cool thing about it is that the striker on these uh, pops out of the handle. got enough lanyard to well, I'm not going to do this cuz it actually does burn pretty hot but you guys can see um, I'm just trying to get the co uh, black coating off of it uh, this thing is pretty freaking amazing um, I've used it out now out in the field uh, to get a fire starting and it works awesome so some of the other content inside my firing fire kit, uh, you guys can see I have a lot of these uh, wet fires, and I will keep buying a lot more of these. Uh, these are amazing. The reason I like these is because in wet weather, uh, either be rain or snow or ice, uh, these, uh, I think one of these is about 10 minutes 15 minutes um, so one of these uh, will light you know long enough for you to get a fire starting so that's why I like these uh, my main source of building a fire is gonna be this now I'm not as you guys can see I don't carry a bow and drill because that's just plain stupid you know you're not gonna carry a bow and drill or char cloth or anything like that you know that's gonna take you you know longer than 60 seconds to start a fire so with this you know there's plenty of them I bought a bunch of these at the dollar store I think they were like um, two three four five six there's more than that I believe I got some in the kitchen uh, it was like I don't know <clears throat> probably uh, I think it was like a 10 pack for three dollars so they were a lot cheaper than the big um, 
I don't know why, but I mean, they work. And I got a bunch of those. Uh, next is I got this uh, pencil sharpener. I haven't used it yet. I have used others in the past. Uh, I like this to catch the shavings. Uh, easy to uh, get your star fire started if you don't have a lighter and you're relying on a ferro rod. Um, the other thing is uh, this is a magnifying glass. I actually bought this off Walmart for I think it was like 93 cents and it had the handle uh, but I threw that away and all I kept was the uh, glass itself. Uh, I used the, this one right here, the little one, to uh, start a fire. I have been able to start a fire with this. So 93 cents and you can start multiple fires. But that's only if the sun is, you know, visible. I think that's like a little bug. Oh no, it's just some black stuff. Anyways, so what else do I have? Uh, I have, like I said, a bunch of lighters, a um, bunch of these uh, wet fires, and the reason I like the lighters is because if I'm out with family and for some reason we have to get separated, I want to be able to start a fire. So uh, with these, they're disposable. I can just hand them out and you know hand one of these out, and they're going to be able to start a fire. Um, but again, I just like them because it gets a fire started right away. You know, you don't have to uh, fuck around with uh, what do they call it? Uh, uh, Bowling drill. Next is the uh, magnesium bar. I don't know if this was the Walmart or the I don't know the what was it the Harbor Freight. Um, I know they do work. Uh, I don't like this. This is kind of very flimsy. So I'll just use this one to get some of the shavings off. As you guys can see here, I kind of already shaved some off and get the fire started. So these do work. Um, I got one, and I think I'm only have carry one. Um, uh, I have another one in my dog's buggle bag, and my dog has one or two of these. Um, but he does have one of these. So, and that's pretty much about it on my fire starting kit. Uh, nice, simple. You know, I'm not gonna carry something that's gonna take me, you know, five minutes to start a fire. Um, that's, you know, this is just wasting time, wasting energy. Um, and you gotta also realize, you know, the type of environment you're gonna be in. Um, if you're gonna be out in negative 10 degree weather, do you really have the time to mess with the blow and drill uh, or any other type of fire method? You know, there's people that carry steel wool in a battery, and that's their main source of fire. Why would you do that? I mean, the battery is gonna last you a couple uses. St uh, steel wool is only good one time um, so it's just stupid and useless and it doesn't make sense and it's frustrating seeing people it's like this is my steel wool this is my battery and I do this and I make a fire it's like or I see uh, some videos where people will carry bubblegum wrapper and use the uh, foil put it on the battery and then it will light on fire and it's like that's just stupid just carry a lighter carry a ferro rod, carry a magnesium bar, one of these. Um, so, anyways, this is my fire starting kit. Uh, everything goes in a Ziploc bag. Uh, I don't uh, use any other type of bags just because I'm trying to conserve weight. Plastic bags, uh, very lightweight. Uh, these Ziploc bags, lightweight. Um, I go with the uh, good quality kind, the one that doesn't puncture a hole, um, and also because they're clear uh, so I can kind of see through it and I know what's inside and I can access it uh, rather faster. So guys, this is my fire starting kit. 
Uh, let me know what your fire starting kit is and what it consists of. Um, and maybe have some thoughts on mine. Maybe some things I can improve on. But I will continue buying some of the wet fires uh, because they are uh, amazing. And being in wa uh, wet weather, these could save your life. Um, and because it, starting a fire in wet weather is very, very challenging. Unless you have a lighter, then pretty easy, but if you don't, then one of these uh, can save your life. Thanks for watching.